Hi Pisces, welcome to your spirit messages for October. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. You're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. This is a new series I've added to the channel. These are messages from your spirit guides, what they want to tell you, what you need to know for the month of October. So uh, this is a new, re uh, new reading I'm adding and also I've added one more new reading for singles, uh, new love and who's coming towards you type of reading and it looks into what kind of energy may be, a couple signs, how, when, where you'll meet them, what kind of connection it will be, has advice, a clarified tower. So if you're single and you're wondering, you know, when will I meet somebody, you know, who's coming towards me, who's coming towards you, just a fun kind of reading so you can look out for that. So Pisces, do please check out the description box below for any and all information you need about me. Tons of stuff there. Please do go check that out. Personal reading information, decks I'm using, social media, tons and tons of stuff there. Please do go check it out. And thank you for all your support that you give to the channel. It really does mean a lot to me, whether you've subscribed, reached out for personal reading, donated. It all is very much appreciated. Helps the channel grow. Thank you so much for being a part of that so we can get the messages out to the people that need to hear them. And thank you, thank you so much for connecting with my energy and watching the channel. So thank you. Pisces, what does spirit want to tell you for the month of October? If you do like this, please do comment. Uh, let me know. Give me some feedback. Like the video. Share the video. Hope everybody's doing well. Pisces, happy fall. Happy Halloween. All right, so I have three oracle decks here in a tarot deck. So we'll get three oracles from each deck. And then I'll clarify with tarot. So these are your spirit messages for October. What spirit wants you to know for October? What do you want to tell Pisces for October spirit, please? Thank you so much. And we have three cards for Pisces. We have one more for Pisces. Oh, it's too many. Too many. One more for Pisces, please. Thank you so much. One more for Pisces for October. And what they need to know, Spirit. Thank you so much. One more. There we go. All right. So I'm going to get all uh, the cards first, and then I will turn them over. So we got the fairy, uh, healing with the fairies, and now we have the spirit messages. All these are listed below. If you're interested, I have the animal dreaming there, which is this, this one. And then I have the tarot of dreams. So all listed below. All right. What other messages do we have for Pisces spirit? What do you want to tell Pisces? What do they need to know? Thank you. We have two more for Pisces, two more for Pisces. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Wanted two, and I got two. All right, let's get three from this deck. This is a really pretty deck. It has all animals on it. You may have to look in the book because there's no writing. It just, um, if I feel there's extra messages in the book that you may need, I may just read a brief uh, summary from the book. Okay, so, whoa, ho, oh, oh. ho, well. <clears throat> Flying on the floor, so I think that's your message right there. And I think this one, and I think that one. All right. So, let's see what we have here. From the fairy, healing with the fairies. We have trust your intuition. And Pisces, you're a water sign, and you also represent the high priestess in the tarot which is all about your gut feeling, your intuition, your higher knowing. So whatever you're feeling in the month of October, whether you feel it's wrong, it's right, or you're not sure and you feel like you need to wait, whatever your gut is telling you, whatever you're truly feeling is to really, really listen and pay attention to that and trust those feelings and trust, really trust in your intuition for October on any situation going on in your life, whatever that may be. And then we have follow your dreams. So pretty simple there. So whatever you're dreaming about, dreaming about, thinking about, wanting to pursue or go after or do something you've been wanting to do, this is just telling you to follow your dreams there. And it could be, you know, follow your intuition about starting something new and following your dreams. So, and then we have magic of nature. So this is about getting out in nature, 
Um, maybe you need to get outside more, spend more time outside, uh, going for walks, connecting with animals and nature also grounding yourself you know by grounding if you don't know what grounding is you go outside and it sounds silly but you know put your bare feet on the earth not cement anything like that in the grass or in the dirt or wherever or if you live near water go to the beach walk in the sand barefoot put your feet in the ocean somewhere where you connect physically with nature if you're funny with your feet you know you can touch the earth, you know, anywhere where you're physically touching some part of the earth and you kind of just sit there for a while and soak in the energy of the earth and kind of absorb it and um, ground yourself. All right, so let's see from the, uh, this is the um, spirit messages. So we have let go. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit and right there with trust your intuition as we have only your best intentions at heart and we'll do everything in our power to protect you. So, you know, this is letting go of fear, letting go of trying to control things. Just kind of let go and have faith and trust like the universe has your back. Everything is happen happening to you as it should be for a reason to learn lessons, uh, to strengthen you, to move forward. And to, you know, just let go of attachment also. There's something that you've been trying to hold on to, but you, you, you know, you know deep down it's time to let it go. And maybe you're afraid to out of fear or anything like that. I think, I think it's really time here to just let it go. And then we have hello from heaven. Your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as, as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you to prove they're with you at this time so this can be ancestors it can be loved ones friends it could be pets it could be anybody but they're around you protecting you they're with you they're guiding you they're sending you signs symbols um it could be songs it could be little items that you find it could be uh, little animals, and that's why you have magic of nature here. It could be insects. It could be butterflies, dragonflies, beetles, butterflies. It could be anything. Or maybe you keep finding pennies, nickels, dimes, or something like feathers. It could be anything. It's signs from your past over loved ones. And then we have love. Love is the foundation of your existence. And you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it's equally a form of energy that propels you through life. So, so you have to know here that you're always worthy of giving and receiving and not to forget that energy. That you can always have that and give that in your life moving forward. No matter what's going on or what things look like or how it seems there's always love somewhere and whether it's just love from your past over loved ones it's always there wow and maybe maybe telling you this is right under follow your dreams uh hello from heaven so maybe they're trying to guide you to show you it's okay to follow your dreams to trust your intuition and it could be the mag magical signs from nature that you keep getting, seeing the same things over and over or something like that, signs from heaven. You know, just to let go, follow your intuition and just go for it. Follow your true passion in your heart and in your soul of what you would just love to do here. So different messages there. Uh, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, I guess. So... Animal dreaming. Let's see what we have with the animal dreaming. Let's make sure you can see these all. So we have dragonfly illusion number six. Six is a very healing, balancing number to me. So illusion, there may be something here that you, um, again, it's right under let go. So there may be something that you're just kind of, illusioning yourself to like I don't want to say delusional but 
kind of like just not facing something that you need to let go, like just kind of like blocking it out, like, oh, it's just an illusion, like being del delusional to the fact that you need to let something go, not trusting your intuition that it's just time. And I think Spirit's trying to tell you is stop illusioning yourself, you know, see through illusions also that may be around you, that some things you just may need to let go that aren't serving you anymore and trusting that feeling. All right, so then we have balance. So we have magpie here, 27, which is nine. So balance here. Yeah, I feel like you really need to balance your life out. Um, you re really need to do what's best for you. Finding your, your inner peace and balance and also finding balance within your cir circumstances around you. And I think by letting go of things that are no longer serving you and trusting in what you feel you really need to do and just doing it and following that I think will bring great balance here into your life and it's like <laughs> it's like hello from heaven hello follow your dreams and they want you to balance yourself out they know you need balance and they may be trying to show you that in some way it's like don't live in an illusion if it's time to let something go just trust in that and let it go. Some of you need to follow your dreams. Do something you've been wanting to do. Just do it. You're getting signs from your past over loved ones are supporting you. They love you with love here. You always have love and support around you. And some of you just need to get out in nature here. Like I said, either ground yourself or just spend more time out in nature. Just walking, hiking, strolling, whatever. Going to the park, whatever here getting just outside and then we have fear so we have bilby here which is fear which is seven so again i feel like some of you have a fear fear may be holding you back from finding your true balance and peace and harmony again within yourself and around you because you're living in an illusion when you should be letting something go and you're not trusting your gut and your intuition and this is right in the middle here with hello from heaven. They're really trying to help you, guide you, show you the way to follow your intuition and to let go of things no longer serving you and not living in an illusion anymore. But they know you have fear. They know you have fear that's holding you back. All right, Pisces, let's clarify. Let's clarify this. You know, and I think also here they want you to know, don't let fear hold you back either. Don't let fear hold you back from anything. Because all you need is self-love and self-discipline and self-determination to move forward. All right, so let's get some clarifiers. So what is this trust your intuition? Oh my God, we have the Tree of Life. I've never gotten this card before in a reading. So, I mean, the Tree of Life here can represent uh, everything. Your DNA, your um, divine path in life. This is like the Akashic Record. If you don't know what Akashic Records are, it's sort of like the Divine's Record Keeper, the Universe's Record Keeper for every person. Only the universe and the divine energy knows every person's path in life. You know, the destined course for them. Of course, you have free will. You can always change it. But this is sort of reminds me of your DNA, your destined path, your Akashic records here. Your tree of life, your family, your friends, your ancestors, everybody that made you who you are. From, like I said, your ancestors to now. This is like your life path. So this is trusting your intuition, trusting the path you feel like you need to go down. Trusting, like you see so many paths here, but trusting, if you know what path you want to take here, just trust, just trust your intuition and trust that you can take that path, you can go down that path. To a whole new life creating a new branch or going down an avenue you've never been down before and this one is sticking out 
to me right at the top there, which is all about new beginnings. All right, so let's see what let go is about. What is let go about for Pisces? The magician. So you can let go of things no longer serving you and manifest a brand new beginning. And the magician is one, which is also a brand new beginning. This one is like, it's just sticking right out to me here for a new beginning. So you can let go of something no longer serving you and trusting all will be fine. Because the tree of life here is your destiny, your path is supporting you. And you can manifest this brand new beginning. Wow. It's a strong message for you, Pisces. All right. So let's see what this illusion is. So we have the King of Cups energy here. So this is actually your energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So, you know, this is about, you know, being loving, compassionate, caring, nurturing, giving, um, a little bit psychic or um, that sort of energy also. But it's the King, not the Queen, but it can be male or female. It doesn't really matter. It's all just energy. But, you know, I think you have the strength and self-love to see through and the intuition and the ability to see through illusions if you tap into that and just believe in that and just uh, see through it and know that you can move beyond the illusion that maybe you even feel like you're stuck in. Because you see this man is kind of looking, like kind of confused, just looking ahead like, hmm, I don't know. But you can break free of that illusion. All right, so let's see what Follow Your Dreams is about for you Pisces. Let's take that one. Wow, we have the Palace of Swords. Now, these don't come out too often. This is the only deck that has these four cards. They have has four palace cards. And you got the Palace of Swords. So follow your dreams, living in pure truth, um, clarity, honesty. You know, the Palace of Swords is living in an environment where you're just living in pure truth and clarity and honesty and clear, honest, open communication. Um, you know, not taking any BS, standing up for yourself. Um, you know, you've cut away those things no longer serving you. You're living free and clear in your open path, in your destiny, with nothing but truth and clarity. Wow. And you can follow your dreams. Like you can see the path clearly here with this palace of swords and you can follow that dream. It's, wow, okay. So that's so funny now we got hello from heaven and now we have the Eight of Wands, which is about communication, travel, movement. And you see like these, all these uh, doves, white doves, it's like a very peaceful energy coming from heaven. So I definitely feel like here that your past over loved ones are strongly, strongly trying to communicate and connect with you. You really need to pay attention to what's going on around you. If you hear funny noises, you feel or hear or see or smell something strange and you're like oh that reminds me of this or that or you get a flash in your head and you're like wow you know why am i thinking this out of the blue about a certain someone that's passed over they're trying to connect with you and if you keep finding the same things over and over or seeing the same things over and over or hearing the same things over and over and it reminds you of someone that's passed on they're trying to communicate with you and that's the communication with the eight of wands so they're very fiery about uh, this communication that's very fast-paced, fiery communication. So they're trying like heck there to communicate to you. And you know, the wands is all about fire, passion, you know, going after what you want. So I really think they're trying to tell you to follow uh, your path, follow your dreams. They're supporting you. All right, balance here. So we have the eight of coins. So, you know, you're gonna have to work at it may not come easy, maybe a slow process with the eight of coins here, but you can work on it. Trust the process. If it's a slow process, then just trust in that. And you can just work, work at it. Just work at getting your balance, whatever you need to do, just do it. Putting in that dedicated effort. All right. So over here we have magic of nature, magic of nature. What is that about for Pisces? Oh my God. Now, <laughs> 
Pisces. Oh my god. Now we have the Palace of Coins. So not only did you get the Palace of Swords, and look at all the nature on this card. I can't make this crap up, Pisces. So you got the magic of nature, and look at all the animals and the nature on this card. Wow. So this Palace of Coins is very uh, fruitile. It's about, um, what is that up there? Oh, it's an owl. Wow. It's about total, total uh, stability here. Having like total, total abundance. Like you never have to worry. I mean, look at the mansion. Having like just abundance in every single way and stability and prosperity and growth and expansion to a point where you're living in a mansion. Wow. Wow. So it's a good energy, very earthy, grounded energy. And I had said that magic of nature, getting out and grounding yourself. So I think if you follow your dreams and your destiny and living in that peace, you know, peace and truth, clarity, energy, and following your dreams and not letting fear hold you back and working hard and manifesting this new beginning, trusting your path, trusting the universe is leading you, guiding you the right way, you, you'll, you'll be in total abundance here. And you know, you may not be a millionaire, you may not be like rich, but you won't have to worry, you'll be comfortable, you'll be stable, grounded. Wow. So what is this love about? So we got the two of wands. So this is about, you know, crossroads, making decisions, plans for the future. So, I mean, this could have to do with new love. This could have to do with um, a new person. This could just be having self-love and deciding and doing what's best for you, what choosing your path to go down. As I said over here, these many paths. And this is you deciding, you know, which path will I take? Which path will I go down? making those decisions and it could be anything with you here whatever new beginning whatever path that you're wanting to go down here um i think you should do it whether it's a new love where it's a new job whether it's changing your life altogether, moving um whatever here i think spirit wants you to tell you to go for it don't let fear hold you back so what is the fear about here for Pisces? What is the fear about here for Pisces? Yeah, the Ten of Swords. So this is, you know, right before the Ten is the Nine, which is about fear, stress, anxiety, and worry. So now we have the Ten. So it's like you're ready to put all that down. It's like, I've had enough. It's done. It's over. I'm ready to conquer my fears. I'm ready to lay them to rest. I'm ready to slay them. And I'm ready because the 10 is an ending and then a 1 is a new beginning again. So this is slaying all your fears. This is putting all those fears to rest finally. Just conquering them. And putting them to an end. And then manifesting your brand new beginning. Wow. You might have just gone through an ending, which is kind of like has you in a state of fear for moving forward. Because the 10 is a very painful ending. So it could go either way. You either just come out of a painful ending and now this fear is holding you back from moving forward or this is slaying your fears and just ending that and conquering them and moving forward in a new direction in your new beginning over here and manifesting that. So now we got the King of Swords at the bottom here. Again, so the King of Swords lives in this Palace of Swords. <laughs> King or Queen. Again, somebody very open, honest, and truthful, clear, clear clarity, um, cutting away things not serving them, telling it like it is, standing up for themselves. This king lives in this palace, and you can live in that palace in, if you get over your fears and live in this energy. Wow, Pisces. Inner conflict, battling those fears. But you can take charge here with the emperor or empress energy taking control, taking charge, and moving forward. Energy. And being very victorious with the Six of Wands. This is all from the bottom of the deck for your fiery, passionate, exciting, new beginning endeavor, whatever it is here. New beginning, which will lead to success and victory for you, Pisces. Well, Pisces, so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it resonated for you. 
Again, if you do like this, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. And good luck to you moving forward. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, is to always, always shine your light.